Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Asmi. And I'm Roger. And welcome to Roger and Asmi Vlogs. And our subject today is Filipinos' reaction to a Filipina dating or marrying a foreigner. So, before we start, maraming salamat sa iyong suporta o paghigugma sa among channel. Thank you so much guys for your support and love. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. Okay, so now, for sure you guys are really excited to know what are those um, reactions. Yes, as we all know, there are negative and positive feedbacks, of course. Human as we are, we mostly judge or criticize the appearance of people, especially if we see foreigners that are a little bit, or not a little bit, but really old, and their partner is really young. So most people would really judge and criticize you right away even for you guys it's really common in your country not only in the philippines but also other countries too so what are those things that you think that mo common common filipino reaction if they see foreigners dating a filipina that is really young okay filipinos or mostly filipinos would say just just after in your money. Yeah, that's the most common thing or the most common criticize for Filipinas that are really young and they're marrying or dating a very old foreigner. So um, it's, we have a saying here in the Philippines, matandang mayaman, madaling mamatay. So meaning to say, a uh, rich old man is quick to die. Yes, and I can really often hear that from uh, Filipinos. Yeah. If they see um, a younger Filipina dating or marrying an older guy, they would always say that, wow, she's dating to a foreigner, which is matandang mayaman. Madaling mamatay. Yeah, like they're dating like the same age as their grandfather already. So they would directly criticize or they would judge that well, I don't think that's true love. Yes. No, that's not true love. They would always, always judge that specific thing or to those people that are dating that the gap is really Hi. Yeah. So maybe this is your first time to hear the sayings in the Philippines. Again, that's in Tagalog. Um, now, uh, or this time, you already know what is the meaning of that. And yes. mostly, like I said earlier, mostly Filipinos would say that phrase or line. Yeah, especially even like people would ask like women, especially women from the province mm -hmm. and the cities, what do you want or who do you want to date with? They would say, I want to, to marry or date a foreigner. Okay, would you like to date a foreigner that is old? And they would n normally respond, yes, so that they can easily, you know, they would be uh, quick to die. <laughs> yes, that's really common. And uh, you can really um, hear that when you are uh, mostly in province. Because people there, not common for them to see foreigners uh, or Filipina dating of foreigners. So that's why. Yes, true. Next point is she is rescued. This is one, I think it's a positive feedback. Um, she is rescued from poverty. Okay, yeah. People will say uh, she wants to, like, you know, uh, save from poverty. Yeah. I think that's, I think it's not a negative thing, right? Is it positive or negative? So-so, because, -so, um, well, she has that kind of goal 
let's say for example i want to like um to help my family uh, i want to to um explore i want to to be happy because i'm i'm really poor it depends on the person if the person is really poor they're really uh, they don't have anything that you you have right now and you rescue or save her from poverty so i would say it depends on the situation it's a positive or a negative because most filipinas right now especially right now because of covid they can't work it's not it's not easy to find work it's really difficult so most of us or most of the filipinos right now are struggling to earn money right now yes and it's hard to find a job true and uh, living here in the philippines is difficult for an average person especially uh you're just working in um let's say department store or why now it's really hard to survive because prices nowadays are like increasing true next point is she is lucky so this is common really common most people would th would think if you marry or get a foreigner they would always say oh you're so lucky you can already have what you want you can already achieve what you want you can already experience things that you never experience right yeah. you can experience the things that you never experienced before and you can help your family you can uh, go to abroad and uh, you, you can, can eat um in a fancy restaurant with your foreigner you can travel so those are the things many people would envy you or many people or some people would envy your filipina because she found a jackpot yes. yeah so not all filipinas are lucky to find a foreigner that would date or marry them because some of the Filipinas, because of a lot of competition, it's like suerte, suerte lang in Tagalog. Like, if you're lucky, you're lucky. It's like that. Yes. It's like, well, you know, bidding or winning a lottery. Yeah. So, this is like, um, it's a jackpot for you to, to date um, uh, or marry a foreigner. Is, um a lot of, of Filipinas um, also are seeking or like go to um, online dating sites. Yeah. Uh, like what you said earlier, a big competition. So people would say, or Filipinas would say that ah, she's just very, or she's very lucky. Yeah, because they think, they generalize, generalize every foreigner is rich they generalize that but they little they that they know not all foreigners are rich so it's just the same as here some are rich some are mi middle middle class and some are poor yeah. so uh, that's the reason behind that many people would think oh she's lucky because she married or dated a foreigner yeah. not knowing not knowing that uh you're working really hard to you know for your future and the thing is when you come here in the philippines your money is like double or multiple yes the currency is re really different so that is why uh most filipinos uh would say that you are rich. really lucky and rich yes true next and the last is this is a negative feedback and i often hear this she is a social climber. So many people would say to your Filipina, ah, she's just so a social climber. She wants to be rich right away. She wants to have that higher status in life because she is lazy to work. Yes, and um, other thing is people will always, you know, um, judge right or judge criticize. her or criticize her she's not working she is just in the house and you're just supporting her and 
many people would just like talk behind your back and they would like um i would say they would talk talk to her like oh she she she's not rich only the foreigner is rich because you're the one supporting her yes every everything and they know also foreigners are really generous they would help for example for the rent the bills and other stuff the needs of uh, filipina so that's why they would think that she's a social climber she want to um to earn or to have um, a stable life without any job without any i would say without any hard work without any sweat and most filipinos would think that um she's just lazy and she's really dependent on his on her husband that's the most common phrase that they're re- that they're always talking about to your filipina yes indeed so i think uh yeah those are the common uh reactions of uh, Filipinos to like a Filipina dating or marrying a foreigner. So thank you so much guys watching till the end and I hope to see you in our next vlog. Bye. Bye.